Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Friday. It's Daryl here. It is four before 4 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Um, today, I would like to talk a little bit about what I've learned from Bo of the fifth column over the last year. I was going to wait until the anniversary of my first video, which pretty much lit my channel up. I, I went from 30 subscribers to over almost 3,000 now. And I, I owe a lot of the success to coming across Bo the Fifth Column and then talking about him in a video. I, to be honest, I, I, I can't, I'm not going to deny that. That, that, that was, it wasn't planned, but it was, it, it lit this channel, my channel up. I, what I think it did is it gave people a chance to view me. And let me tell you what I've learned from him in the last year. Okay, I think of all YouTubers, all people that get a channel and start making videos, that you, you do a little research to see what YouTube suggests on how to do it, how to maintain a channel, how to create a channel. And a lot of it is watching bigger channels and how they've done it. And, and kind of not, I wouldn't know, I, don't, I hesitate to use the word imitate, but learn from them. And one thing I think all YouTubers learn, all people, all creators learn is that you cannot be somebody you're not. Um, okay, for instance, let me, let me just say, when I first came across Bo, I didn't even notice the subscribers or anything. I, I, like he says in the video, I thought he was somebody he wasn't. And when I heard him, I, I was dumbfounded. Um, not just at his position, but at his his knowledge of history and the, particularly the way he conveyed a message in almost each video by starting off rather ambig ambigu ambiguously to kind of pull everyone in, people on either sides of an argument or debate, for for instance, to pull everyone in, which is if you're doing a political political videos, that's pretty much the goal. I mean, you could talk to people that agree with you, but you're really not accomplishing anything. Um, reaching out to other people is probably the, 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 the goal of having a political channel. And the way he kind of ambiguously, uh, he, it, I learned, okay, so the next video I did, right after I saw that video, is. I, I wasn't trying to imitate him by any means, because of course I know I'm not a southern gentleman with a, a, a beard. Uh, you know, I can't be him. But I, I, I like to say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. I was trying to do a video where I was rather ambiguous at the beginning, so people wouldn't quite know my stance. And let me tell you, this is probably the first le lesson I learned. It's a hell of a lot harder than it looks. Uh, I cringe when I I cringe when I go back and watch that video. It is a lot harder than it looks. The, but the bottom line is, what I learned is you can't be somebody you're not. Um, people will realize. People, you have to be yourself. You you have to talk from your heart. Once you're on both sides of the cam of the camera, um, you know I, I I hate to say this, but I've been the tro the the person that trolls. I've been the person that puts down the, the, the criticizing comments, and now I'm per the person receiving the comments. And it, it gives you a, a, a better perspective uh, of what people are thinking. And, and it doesn't really bother you as much because you've been the person that's been doing the criticizing. And you know, you, I, I, re I remember how I wanted to affect somebody and how I went about it. And I know that's what somebody's trying to do to me now. So, so back to Bo. Um, Knowledge of history. Uh, this is this is something you just can't pick up in, in a, a couple months, a year, even. Uh, this is lifelong, uh, a lifelong love of the country, of its history, uh, of personal freedom, uh, of freedom for the country. This is some the, the knowledge accumulated is just something that. I, I could only hope to achieve like a tenth. You know, I was a good student in school. I've loved to read and everything. I've often wondered how he. It seems like a natural born instinct to to soak in knowledge with Bo. 
I've, I've wondered how he could accumulate so much knowledge on this. Like, is it watching PBS specials and reading and watching and movies and, and, and you, uh, college, college degrees? Um, okay, back to, back to some of the things I've learned. Um, you got to be yourself and play to your strengths. Um, use what you have to to be the best creator you can be. Take for instance, you know, hit it, Bo's appearance. Now you could that's that's something that you could perceive as negative. It's not even his appearance. He's using what people's prejudices. It's it's uh it's almost as if he was born for this role for this part. Um, the way he, the way he just naturally appears, his speech, his natural look, just the, the the person he is, gives people a strong impression. So uh, some people more than others, but a strong impression of who they think he is, and that that just works. Person, it's almost like a perfect storm, honestly. With Bo, um, it's a combination of knowledge and using people's preconceptions not to to teach them a lesson but yeah to not 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 but not in a bad way um to pull them in and keep them and, and get your point across when i say teach them a lesson it, it could be a good way or a bad way you know teach them a lesson like ha i showed you or actually teaching a lesson um, having people stick around and listening to your point of view and hearing it. Um, so I quickly learned that this, this is how I'm going to have to handle it. Uh, I got to be myself. People will see through anything else if I'm trying to be somebody else. And what are, what are, what are some, what are things I was born with or what, are, what have I, what do I have? I have my recovery. Um, 22 years of drug addiction that could be perceived could, could be perceived as a very negative thing but I don't see it that way I see everything I've learned over the last 14 years I've become a totally different person I, I've become I've become very interested involved in politics and not just politics but the country um, and, and just being a better person um, not not for anybody else's view of me but for myself my own happiness um so yeah using what i have like for instance bo is from the south and he has this appearance and it, it works perfectly so what i learned was take what i have and run with it how i've lived my life so far what i've learned from it there's the area of the country i come from from new england um I just figure the best I could do is highlight what I've learned from living in this area of the country, the people, um, giving people uh, knowledge of this area. And if that clicks and it works, then great. And if it doesn't, it wasn't meant to be. Um, other, other things that I, I, I've learned, not just learned, but I've learned how hard it is. Uh, one of the things I've struggled with, struggled, struggled with, and especially lately, whenever a hot topic comes up, and the goal of, of these videos, we're monetized, both me and Bo, meaning we get advertising. And it's not about revenue. It, it's about, because when we make these videos and put them up and, and apply for the advertising, YouTube rates them. We get back a, an approval. We get a little green dollar sign or a little yellow dollar sign, and it, it's a it's a it's a matter of honor of producing a good video and staying within the guidelines, for me at least. You know, when I get back a video that has a, a, a yellow stamp on it, I feel in some ways that I failed. I mean, not only that, you know, there's a lot of videos that I probably are only worth a couple dollars, not even. So it's not, it's obviously not the revenue, but it's a matter of personal pride that I'm able to talk about a subject 
within the guidelines, within YouTube advertiser guide, guidelines of producing a good video without crossing over lines that I, I've decided and I've agreed with YouTube to stay within. It's, it's a point of honor, really. And it's hard to do. It's not just a, a matter of the seven words you can't say on TV. It's, it is so far beyond that. There's names I can't say from history. And as and they ch it changes constantly. As new things become hot topics with what's going on with BLM, for instance, or certain organizations, they become hot button topics. And some advertisers will shy away from that. Therefore, you might get a yellow stamp. You might get a, a yellow dollar sign. You might get a green dollar sign last month, but you'll get a you know it'll get disapproved a month or two later because it's become a hot a hot topic. So it's all it's an ever changing set of guidelines, and it's hard to navigate. It takes a lot of skill to be able to present a video that's very knowledgeable to pull people in and to be able to do this smoothly without even mentioning some of the most important words. Some of these words are what brings viewers to the video because they're hot, they're hot topic subjects. So the, the challenge is to get people to actually, you know, not make a boring title and a boring video that, that skirts around the subject to still hit the subject head on, but you have to do it carefully, very carefully. And this is one of the hardest things. Uh, and it's ever changing. Like I said, the topics one last month, a couple months ago, maybe something I could have talked about. Now I can't just two videos. I've made the, two out of the last three videos. I made got stamps. If you go back and look at the last three videos before this, two of them got denied advertising just because a couple words, maybe even one word that slipped out of my mouth during the video. And obviously I'm not gonna say it here because then I'll get this, I'll get it on this video. Um, but this is a hard thing to do and Bo does this smoothly and seamlessly. And again, I, I watch his videos and the man gets incredible views incredible views and subscribers. But to me, more than that, he's getting his point across. He's connecting with the people in a very simple manner with a very simple backdrop. What I assume are very basic um, tools. I, I, I don't know. Uh, and he's, and he, he's, he's burying a lot of the bigger channels that would spend 20, 40, 50 times as much uh, or, or put that much more effort into their backdrops and, and fancy effects and all this other stuff. <clears throat> um, I learned how to brand. People look for certain things. I learned this from him. Certain, a certain background, a, a certain clothing even, a certain height, a certain everything. It's your brand. And if you change that, People might click on it the last second they don't. It's, it's a very subtle thing. And, and Bo just seems to be born with this. And again, the words in the video, the words in the title. Now, I know he knows this. I know because we get analytics on these videos. We're told what keywords work, what keywords pull people in. We're told that. We see that. And Bo doesn't even mention these words and still gets huge views. Um, that is a faithful following that they don't even really have to, to know the basics to know they're going to get a good video. They don't need to know. They don't need to see key flash words to know they're going to get something that they want to see. That, that takes time. That, that's just something you can't imitate. You can't buy, you can't fake. Um, and again, this is something I respect, and I've seen I've seen this more and more, especially lately. He knows, he knows there's both the fifth column knows there's certain subjects that will get him a hundred thousand views, a hundred and fifty thousand views in one day, which is impressive. Two hundred thousand views in a week, quarter million views in one week. That's or even a day or two. That's that's big time. 
And yet he knows this. And yet he talks about what he thinks is important. You know, he could talk about the hot topic stuff that's, that's breaking right now. But it's more a bigger picture with him. What he thinks is important in the big picture. This is my take of him. I, I could be wrong. But this is my opinion of what I see. And he, he pulls back for a bigger picture. And it, uh, to be honest with you guys, it takes a dedicated viewership to do that. People that trust you. If I did that, if I tried to pull back right now, I don't have that dedication that I, you have to earn that over time. You have to earn people's trust that you're going to give them something that's entertaining and, and provide something for them. And it, it's a dedicated viewership. You know, just over this last week, he's talked about things that in the title, the title, his title. That if I, honestly, if I use that title, I'd probably get 20 views, you know? And the even more impressive thing is he, he made maybe four or five videos in a row talking about not what's hot on the news, but what he considers important at the time or the big picture. And they'll get less, some of them do get less views or even half the views of a video he made a, a couple days before. So it's not about the views for him. You know, he, he can, and it's not just one time, you know, he'll make three or four videos that have half the views of the ones the following week. It, it, it shows that he's his own man this, and it's not about the revenue. And that's something I, I, I it's something you, it's hard to do, and it's something I respect. Um, you know, you're your own man. You talk about what you think is important. And in order to do that, you have to be able to connect with people with something that they think is important. Otherwise, you're just going to be talking to yourself. So and it's these are things I've learned over the last year. You know, uh, these aren't things you pick up in one day or one week, you know, watching him. To be honest with you guys, I, I can I consider him a mentor, a mentor. Um, you know, like I, I like I said, the first video or two, I I, I wouldn't I wouldn't call it imitating, but I, I tried to do a video in a similar similar manner because it impressed me. It impressed the, the 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 effectiveness of the video impressed me, and I learned I just have to do this in my own way, and it, you know, and let it sink or swim on its own merits. And these are the things that I've learned from Bo the Fifth Column and many more. Um, the, uh, year, the year anniversary of that first video will be coming up in November. I'm not sure of the day, to be honest with you. The video is called What I, uh, Let's Talk About Bo the Fifth Column. I believe it's up to 166,000 views, which by, by my standards for just having this, this channel for just one year is huge. Uh, you know, and again, I've, this is my biggest video, 166,000 views over a year. And Bo gets that in one day, in one average video sometimes. Yeah, I, I bow to the master. And I say that with all, all due respects, man. All right, I'll be back with some more videos dealing with what's going on today later. You guys have a good Friday.